In this tutorial, we will cover radiometric enhancement of Landsat imagery in ArcGIS 10. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research, with funding from the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED. Picking up where we left off in tutorial 14a, now we're going to look at display histograms in two different ways. From the properties dialog and also from the image analysis window. First go to the properties window for the Landsat scene in the table of contents. And be sure you have the symbology tab open. When we're talking about radiometric enhancement, we're going to be looking at changing stretch type and options on our histograms for each of the visible bands. First, let's take a look at the options for stretch type by clicking on the drop down arrow. Leave the stretch type as percent clip for now and then click on the histograms button. Since we set this as a 4 3 2 combination, we know that this red channel is band 4 or our near infrared band. You can also toggle between these tabs to look at the histograms for the green and blue channels. Click OK to go back to the Properties dialog. Now we're going to change our stretch type to Standard Deviations. Be sure to click Apply to make the changes. I'm going to move my window to take a better look at the image. And now I'm going to take another look at the Histograms button. You can see how the histograms for the different channels have changed. The gray histogram shown is the old one from the percent clip stretch method that we used first. This allows you to compare it to the new one. Click OK, then reset your stretch type back to percent clip. We can also interactively change the histogram in the image analysis window. First, zoom back to the full extent of the layer. Make sure the layer is selected in the image analysis window. Then click the interactive stretch tool under display. Now we can see histograms for all three displayed bands at one time. You can move the arrows to identify specific values within the histogram. You can also click and type in a specific value. Let's try a different stretch type and see how the histograms change. Select min max, then click the histogram button. These values correspond directly to the minimum and maximum values in each of the three bands. We've covered radiometric enhancement of Landsat imagery using two different methods in ArcMap. We also looked at the many options available for changing display in the image analysis window in Part A of this tutorial. The next two tutorials will cover spectral enhancement and spatial enhancement of Landsat imagery.